my knowledge, I've not had anything that is a Pennsylvanian Dutch style recipe. So this shoe fly pie is going to be the first taste of something with that influence. I'm quite excited to try it because it does look quite good and it does remind me of other desserts that I've seen. So let's get cooking. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, let's go. Cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige, cooking with Paige. I've got the flour, salt and sugar that the recipe says. I'll pop a link down in the description and in the comments to the recipe that I follow. So if you want to follow it along or let us know how you would make this differently, then be sure to drop a comment and let us know what you would do. Okay, in the freezer, I've got some ice cold water chilling very nicely. I've also got my butter in the fridge, keeping nice and cold. Now I am making the pastry for this pie from scratch because as you know, over here in the UK, we don't get many pre-bought pie cases to the right recipe. So I'm making the pastry from scratch and then I'll get on with the actual pie filling. Got my butter here chopped into quarters and I need to add that in. I am going to try this to see if it works in getting the butter incorporated into this flour. Not even sure if I'm using it right but let's have a go. It's a bit easier than your fingers though because your fingers just end up all buttery. Make sure I get all that butter out and into that flour mix. Now I'm ready to add some of the water. Go for this then. We've even got ice in it. It does say pulse into crumbs, but I'm going with the hands. I'm gonna have to add that last bit of water. Oh, the butter just smells amazing. Don't know what it is about butter. I'm gonna go a slightly bit more of water in here. Now I did make this particular pastry when we made an apple pie for the first time and the pastry was lovely. So I'm hoping that the pastry is gonna work the same for this shoe fly pie. If you haven't watched our apple pie video, then be sure to check that one out as well because, oh, that was an experience in itself. And I know we might get apple pies here, but the one we made just tasted incredibly amazing. Mr. H and I, we're not chefs or anything by any stretch of the imagination. We just like to try your incredible food. And this is probably one of the ways that we can do it quite easily when we're this side of the pond. Anyway, this needs to go and cool in the refrigerator for an hour, then we'll roll it out and then we'll start building that shoe fly pie. Mommy, are you ready? I'm ready. It's been about an hour, we've got the pastry out the fridge. I'm joined with a little helper. Are you gonna help mummy? Yeah. Yeah, what are we making? Yeah. This, yeah. So we need to put some flour. Let's roll your sleeves up actually, madam. Alana's yeah. hands are also clean because we just cleaned them, didn't we? Right, we're not gonna get too messy, okay? Okay. Do you want some over by you? Yeah. Okay, put that somewhere then. Mm. All right, that's enough. Great job. Wow. Okay. Baby. Baby. So we're going to do the pastry now for our pie. And do you know what? It's called a shoe fly pie. Can you say shoe fly? Shoe fly. Shoe fly. And do you know why it's called a shoe fly pie? Do you know why? The fly would be attracted because it's going to be nice and sweet. And the fly would come over and they'd go, shoo fly, shoo fly, like that. And it's called shoo fly pie. Shoo fly pie. Shoo fly pie. Alana, roll it. You help mummy then. Push like that. Here. Oh, I can't put it there because mummy's trying to do it here. Elena's always helping. I'm helping. Come on then, do some more. Okay. Elena is helping, you're right. Oh, don't poke it. Oh, you can play with that bit if you want. You can make something out of that cake. What are you going to make? A little bit stressful, but could be worse. I'm going to do the whole whatever this was because I haven't done that on previous pies and it looks prettier. I know. Pretty. Pretty. I borrow that bit. Okay, so Alana is going to carry on playing with the pastry, aren't you? And Mummy's going to make the filling. You ready? Ready. 
I probably should tidy this up, but I think we're just going to keep getting messy. So I'm just going to leave this mess, let Alana continue, and we're going to get on with the cake. Well, it's actually pie filling. You've got flour all over your face. So in here, I've got flour, dark brown sugar, not that though, a pinch of salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And I've got to mix that all up. Mummy? Yeah. Help mummy. Help mummy? You're very good at helping mummy, aren't you? Jack and Daddy's gonna like a bit of pie when he finishes work. Yes, pie. Pie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. you can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg. It does sound, smell, uh -huh. yeah. It smells very nice, doesn't it, darling? Just get some of those clumps of brown sugar out. Okay, that's done. Now we need to add in the butter, which mummy's left in the fridge. So it's nice and cold. Butter's cold, yeah. Butter's cold. Just gonna pop it into smaller pieces to make it more manageable, hopefully. Okay, now get the butter. It says to use a fork, so I'm gonna try and use the fork with this one. I am tempted to get that butter cutter back out as well. Oh, that's just so much easier. Cuts through it really well. Let us know down in the comments below if you've had shoe fly pie before and if you like it. So it's one from Pennsylvania. I've never been to Pennsylvania before. Mr. H has though, many a times. If you've not got one of these, I really recommend getting one because it's just making life so much easier with incorporating butter into flour. Right, there we go, we've done that bit. Now it's on to the molasses, which is that dark, sticky stuff that you wanted to touch. Now, Mummy's just gonna boil the kettle quickly because we need some boiling water for this one. So I'm gonna do that away from Alana because it's gonna be hot, isn't it, baby? The kettle's just boiled, so into the mixing bowl we go with half a teaspoon of baking soda in there. Wow. wow. Soda. Now we need this thick molasses stuff. Look at this, should we pour that in? Oh, thank you for your help. I think I need it for this one. Oh look. Helping. You are helping, you're doing a very good job of helping, aren't you? Well, don't be helping. Good job of helping. Look. Oh, what colour is it, do you know? Black. Black. So apparently you can use different colours or types or depths of molasses, but it says for the proper Pennsylvanian Dutch recipe to go for the darkest molasses you can find. So this stuff is pretty dark if you ask me. Could be here a while. Be happy. This stuff is like treacle. Mommy, be happy. It's like, it's like tar. We could lay some tarmac with this. Let's just leave that as is for now, Alana. Boiling water. Very hot, isn't it? I'm just gonna mix this off camera a second. Look at this. It like fizzes as something else. It looks and smells very unique. Okay, let's get that into the pie shell. Somehow, we have got treacle on the chair. Right, darling, mummy's got the hot stuff, okay? Here we go. Whee! So also another thing that I read is there's like a... So okay, I spilt that all over the side. There is a soggy bottom version of this and we are going for the soggy bottom version because I think that is the traditional one and I think the pie case was added later on in the evolution of this particular recipe. But yes, let's go for this. So this is the crumb. Wow, look at that. That's something else, isn't it, Alana? Okay. Greetings! Greetings! <laughs> mm -hmm. It's hot. It is hot. Not sure if I did this too fine. Maybe I got too excited with that butter pastry cutter. But let me know in the comments down below if I should have left the crumbs a little bit thicker. I'm guessing as this cooks, because you cook it quite high, the molasses will bubble up and absorb some of this crumb topping. And that's why it probably will end up being the, well, let's say the wet, soggy base rather oh. than cakey version. You've done a great job. Thank you. 
greetings. It is ready to go into the oven. I'm a bit worried because I have got a bit of the molasses wet mixture on the side of the pie, but we're gonna pop this into the oven on 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes before reducing the temperature slightly. I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I've got it in a glass dish and I'm also not sure if the pastry might burn, so we're gonna keep checking on it, aren't we, Alana? Yeah. Join us later when we take this thing out of the oven. Okay, I think we're ready. It smells bloody gorgeous in here. I did put a bit of foil around the pastry because the pastry was starting to burn with that high temperature that we had it set at to start with. So hoping the pastry's not completely burnt. Okay. It does smell good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it smells really good. Really quite sweet and nice. I think the pastry in places is a little bit dark, but hopefully we can just pick those burnt bits off and it won't matter. I know we need to leave this now to cool completely at room temperature before we can even try it. So I'm not sure if it's gonna like thicken up a little bit as it, as it cools or what's gonna happen. Taste test time. Always comes in, doesn't he, when it's ready to eat. But here we go. Hey. Yeah. The pie. Eating the pie. So the pie's come out and I thought... Pie eat out? The pie came out, yeah. The pie came... Pie eat out? Yeah, it has, yeah. I was expecting it to be less dark on Look top because... Uh, I, eat, I, yeah. I was expecting it to look like more of a crumb on top and less of the dark molasses coming through, but I'm guessing... Well, I don't know what I'm guessing, but it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't quite look like it should. I don't think so. And what is this called again? Shoe fly pie. Yeah. I also read that it was possibly called a Granger pie as well. There was some reference to Charlie Bear as oh, well. Okay. So let us know down in the comments below if this is known by any other names that you know of, because all we've looked at is shoe fly pie in Pennsylvania. Ah, Pennsylvania. So is it like a Dutch? Pennsylvania influence. Dutch, yeah. This is a Pennsylvania Daddy. Dutch oh, dish. Oh, cool. It goes well, apparently, with coffee, mm. and it is sometimes had as a breakfast. Really? Yeah. So let's cut this pie. Oh, wow. Mummy? Yeah. Pie. It is pie. I got you a piece. Right, ready? Oh. Alana, do you want to try some? Yeah. You're still going to go to sleep tonight? Oh, she's straight in. Is that nice? Yeah. Nice? Daddy has some. Daddy have some? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Three, three, two, one, go. Boom! Mommy, Daddy has some. Oh. Some mommy, okay. That's sweet, isn't it? What? Yeah. What's going on there? Not what I was expecting. I know. Mommy, some mommy. You want some more? Yeah. What is that? Something's coming through quite strong. I think it's, that's the molasses. There's a lot of molasses. That black stuff, wasn't it, Lana, we put in? Mama, um, Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of that. I think, yeah, it would go well with a coffee. Mm. Mm. Now you say, yeah. You want last bit for you then? It reminded me a little bit of Mary Lee's apple pie recipe because it was heavy on the different mixed spices, the cinnamon. Yeah and the nutmeg, and we really enjoyed that. But that's what it reminded me of, but I think Alana's had enough. Mm. It would definitely go well with coffee. Not my favorite pie. Mm. Alana quite likes it. I would go, I'd probably go for a seven out of 10. The thing is, I'll probably, I might even go six. And that's not being disrespectful, but I just remembered how good pecan pie was, banana pudding, peach cobbler. Yeah, I think I'd echo like a six or something with it. It's not my favorite as well. It is nice, but it's just quite heavy. Maybe if I use the light molasses as well, it might make it taste a bit different. If you haven't already, and you want to keep in touch with us and our latest videos and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Drop a like for this video. We'd really appreciate it. And all that leaves us three to say is take care god bless and see y'all in the next video <laughs>